I buy one of these guns in New York, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Hawaii, Washington, D.C., or even California. Yep, you don't. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Six Shooter TV. My name is Tyler, and today I'm going to be going over a video I actually did back in 2017, and it caught quite a bit of attention, so I figured I'd go ahead and redo it for 2018. And uh, this year, we're not going to put any music behind it, so I know that, that was uh, quite a few complaints in the comments. And for those of you who haven't seen the video or have no idea what I'm talking about, we are going to be making a video on the top 10 best states to live in if you are a gun owner. Now, one thing that I always like to do is go through the five worst states. I just kind of shout them out and, uh, and you know, shame on you guys kind of thing. And I kind of already uh, went over that a little bit in the intro there. But uh, what the heck, we'll go over it one more time. So the top five worst states, and it actually starts at uh, state 51, which I know sounds kind of weird. Uh, so state 51 is going to be, of course, New York. Previous ranking was 50, so they did go down a spot. New Jersey uh, is ranked 50. And Massachusetts, Hawaii, Washington, D.C. And there's that weird like little 51 is, is Washington, D.C. And then uh, California. And all these were previously ranked the top five worst before. So not much has changed. They've just shuffled order a little bit. Uh, so if you're looking to be a gun owner, don't move to those states. All right. Now let's go ahead and get into the top 10. So for number 10, we have Georgia. So as far as Georgia... Um, getting bumped. I, I don't think that they, they their previous ranking was ranked nine and they got bumped to 10. I don't think that it has a whole lot to do with points. I mean, you can read the quick little paragraph right there, but other than that, uh, I, my guess is I know another state did make it that was uh, a little bit farther behind Georgia before, but uh, Georgia still remains in the top 10. Again, previous ranking was number nine. Let's just go ahead and move it on to ranking number nine, and that's Texas. Texas also got bumped from eight down to nine. So Again, still in the top 10, so as far as I'm concerned, they're doing good. Uh, I'm, I'm always shocked to see how low Texas is, though. When I think of a gun state, I always, my mind goes straight to Texas. So uh, they do, you know, they do everything across the board. It says right there, Texas does well across the board in our survey, thanks to a strong RTC law uh, that now includes open carry. And then they also have a strong use of force law. So the use of force law... Uh, as, as far as I, like what I'm looking at, it seems like the uh, the Guns and Ammo magazine who does this ranking every year bases a lot of what they are, you know, the, the state rankings off the use of force law too. So uh, just keeping that in mind. Number eight, we are going to move to Montana. Montana actually got bumped quite a few. Their previous ranking was number five. So I got bumped down a couple spots. The governor did vote permitless carry bill in 2017. So the, I think the state got a pretty big bump from uh, whatever they were before to five before. And then again, they, now they went down to, to eight. So uh, one thing that's cool about Montana there is it's obviously home to a lot of uh, firearm manufacturers. So uh, a little interesting fact about myself too, I'm actually kind of considering moving out to Montana. So I'm, I'm really considering uh, that in one other state, and we'll get to that other state shortly. Uh, next state, Utah. Uh, Utah, again, a uh, big thing on use of force law. So uh, that's, again, why they're going to ha have a little bit higher ranking. They were previous ranked number six firearm manufacturers out there. And then I know that they actually have one of the most popular gunsmithing schools in the uh, nation. So I don't know if they took that into account on this, but as, as far as I'm concerned, I, I think that that's also something to definitely think about as far as gunsmithing and that kind of stuff. Now, number six, we're going to move to is uh, Oklahoma. And Oklahoma, um, I don't think much has changed for them. Again, previous rank was number four. So I feel like not a lot has changed within the top 10. They just kind of shuffled around, it seemed like. One thing that's cool about Oklahoma is they allow permitless carry for gun owners from the uh, states whose law allows it to recognize all state permits. So obviously that's a huge point. A lot of states don't recognize that. I know, I think, I want to say there's like 20 or 21, if I remember correctly, it could be way off on that. But Oklahoma at number six, now number five is Wyoming. And Wyoming got a huge bump this year. They went from their previous ranking as number 17 up to uh, spot five. So I think Wyoming is one of the reasons that a lot of these other ones got a bump. Uh, not so much uh, Oklahoma, but more of what's like Utah, Montana, Texas, and Georgia. Because uh, again, a lot of those spots, they only move by one. And uh, Wyoming's now in that top top 10. So 
uh, kind of makes a little bit more sense. So one thing that was previously hurting Wyoming was the the for, uh, use of force law. So again, there's that use of force law coming back, and it, it hurt them before. Uh, some bills got passed, and basically now that those bills passed, we're seeing uh, basically Wyoming got a, a huge bump and and they, they got more points as far as the actual rank goes. So, all right, number four is Kansas. Unfortunately, a bill that didn't pass was the out-of-state CCW permit. It died in the legislative. Uh, but again, right there it says Kansas is still a great state for gun owners, uh, passing its initial CCW law in 2006. So the it looks like Kansas also lost a few points in the miscellaneous column. Uh, since the state lacks a thriving competitive shooting landscape in general gun culture that we see elsewhere. So kind of an interesting statement, uh, especially for that if they're losing points for that. I'm, I'm surprised to see that they're still ranked number four. Kansas isn't a typical state that I think of when I think of, uh, you know, good states for gun owners. But again, it seems like it's a great state just because they are ranked so high at number four. Again, previous rank was three. Now Alaska. Alaska was ranked number two last year. They got bumped to number three, and uh, again, I feel like not a whole lot has changed with Alaska from last year. Um, basically, I mean, obviously it's Alaska. There's a lot of hunting and stuff like that. I think there is some uh, some shooting stuff, and I want to say, I don't know the statistic off the top of my head, but I know there, there is some really crazy statistic about Alaska and how many people are actually gun owners there, so... Um, it's like, I mean, some crazy, crazy high number. It seems like almost everyone up there has a gun, which is awesome. So keep going, Alaska. All right. Now this is one that I'm very excited about. It's Idaho. A reason that I'm so excited about Idaho is because I'm actually contemplating moving there. Uh, not only for the gun laws, obviously that's going to be a huge benefit to me now, but, uh, everything is just so much cheaper in Idaho. It seems like everywhere else is just getting so expensive, just like DMV and state fees and stuff like that. And Idaho just remains very inexpensive and the state is absolutely beautiful. And clearly, again, when it comes to gun laws, they know what they're doing. Hunting is absolutely phenomenal over there. Um, I, I don't quote me on this, but I believe you can get hair tags, which is really cool versus Oregon. We have to shoot something with horns. Um, so uh, definitely a state that I am considering. And again, not just for the, the, uh, the gun owner side of me, but just for uh, my whole life and my hobbies and everything like that. It just seems like Idaho's there. And the reason for the huge boost this year is because of the use of forest laws and they removed the duty to retreat, which is, again, a huge, huge bump for them. Uh, it looks like they also received nine and a half points in the CCW column. And this is so cool since residents and active duty military members can carry without a permit. So that is so cool to me. Uh, permitless carry uh, it seems like in Oregon, you know, you got to go through the full 10 finger background track, crazy stuff. So, uh, so good on you, Idaho. And, uh, you guys might be getting a new residence soon, hopefully. All right. And now we move on to number one and the previous ranking for number one was actually number one. So if you watched my video last year, then you know what I'm about to say. And that's Arizona. The reason Arizona remains number one is because they are a huge state as far as when it comes to, uh, like shooting competitions and training uh, I know that there's been multiple records as far as gun stuff broken in Arizona. It's, you know, it's a big desert. So it's like, you know, you, obviously to me, it sounds like there's a lot of ranges out there. And then I know the hunting is absolutely excellent in Arizona. They have some of the biggest bull elks I've ever seen. Uh, hopefully one day I can make it out there to visit Arizona and experience what it's like to live in the best state to live in if you are a gun owner. So um, other than that, guys... Uh, we do have one honorable mention, and that's going to be, of course, my own state that I live in. And guys, I'm so excited to announce that we went up this year. We went from rank 34 to rank 33. Come on, Oregon, get your shit together. Um, it's really sad in our most recent uh, in our most recent vote here this fall. Uh, a lot of stuff got turned down here in the county that I live in. Uh, very sad to see that kind of stuff. Uh, luckily, we have a great sheriff that got elected uh, who should back a lot of the, the firearm laws. He's a huge sports shooter himself. So uh, so hopefully everything goes good with that. But uh, Oregon, it's it's sad, but I might have to, to move out, away from you just because this is getting horrible. So it just seems like there's a lot of work just to get a concealed carry license or just to carry and 
Um, you know, they're, it's, it seems like they're aiming for bans on certain weapons or magazines and uh, constantly having to vote for this kind of stuff, stuff that we shouldn't have to vote for. So uh, other than that, that's Oregon. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching. I hope this video is a lot better than last year's. I know I got a lot of negative comments for last year's video. And give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. Comment down below if you have any questions or comments or anything like that on your state or anything else. And I want to give a huge shout out to Guns and Ammo Magazine for the uh, awesome article that they wrote about this. So if you have some time, go ahead and read it. It's very interesting. Guns and Ammo Magazine and best dates for gun owners. And last but not least, please subscribe to my channel. It'll help me out greatly and share this video if you like it. And other than that, thanks for watching. Thank you.